Hi, I'm Lisa from Horsham.tv and here's what's coming up this week. Now, as I film this, and currently whilst you watch it, we are still in lockdown. As you may well be aware, in the last year or so, we've all been discussing mental health based on around the fact we've been in lockdown and the effect that it can have on us being isolated, being away from our family and friends, and generally not being able to have a hug. Um, so this time we've actually been meeting Sonny from Martial Arts Academy in Horsham. Connie went along to find out what he's up to and it's more than just martial arts. Okay, so the first thing to do when someone tries to control you or tries to grab your wrist and you want to disengage is to never try and pull away because if the person is stronger than you they're always going to be able to stay in touch. Okay, So always, always, always circle motion. So it's always outside or inside, it doesn't really matter too much. But it doesn't matter how strong they are, either they're super aggressive, super strong, you'll always snap the grips. Whereas if you just try and pull and push, they will always stay engaged. It will make it difficult for you to get away from the situation. Hello, I am on my way to the Horsham Mixed Martial Arts Academy where I'll be speaking to Sonny, who is the head coach there. And he'll be speaking to me about a video that he put out, which was demonstrating self-defense technique. Yeah, we're, we're really welcoming here. You know, like I say, there's no, there's no politics involved. You know, we accept people from all walks of life, and you know, should come through the door. There's, there's a mutual, you know, respect for everyone. And um, you know, this, this was never planned as such. It just, it was a case of it was a journey that started off in a leisure centre, and, and you know, now we're here, sort of thing, where it's grown and it's, it's so popular. Yeah, we was overwhelmed with you know the amount of people that did contact us on the back of that. Um, yeah, like I say, um, it, we had we even, you know had a number of emails, number of phone calls, and it was difficult to try and stay on top. Um, I think obviously we there was obviously it just goes to show there's a lot of people that are suffering out there and they're looking for an outlet to perhaps you know um, do a bit of you know physical activity to just take them day to day stresses away. Um, the video itself is very difficult trying to actually show someone online. Um, it's more of a hands-on thing um, to, to, to actually do. And obviously what you see there was just a little snippet of what you know what we what we learn in here and you know what I teach. Um, I think the, the video was really good because it showed um, from my perspective a lot of uh, girls, young girls doing a sport that is predominantly male. Um, and the feedback we got from you know wives of current members were like, well, hey, I, I kind of want to get on this in on this too because um, it looks looks really fun. I discovered this academy and um, it's completely changed my life, mainly because um, as part of a self improvement empowerment project I took for myself, this was really the missing piece I was looking for, and learning all of the tools to defend myself in close proximity has just done the best things for me. I, I saw a mate who was, um, who I wouldn't have thought was, I wouldn't have, have expected to engage in uh, martial arts or Jiu Jitsu and I saw he was doing it, I saw he was doing really well and he got quite, he was developing really quickly. Um, and I was really impressed, and I, I, you know, had had a um, conversation with him. I um, rung up Sonny's, and we got it all sorted out. I came down. I was hooked from the first session. Um, it's just, it's. I think it's the perfect martial art to um, to study because you, 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 it's such a low risk of getting hurt. Learning something for yourself, like empowering yourself is a key part of the mental health puzzle for me too, like that, you know, keeps me coming back, it keeps me investing in myself, eating better, trying to sleep, recover, train, it's just, it's just part of a big puzzle that's health, which is, you know, physically and mentally that's part of it too. And when you witness, I've seen guys and ladies came, come in who are feeling down and just a little bit, you know, just, I know, stressed out with just the day-to-day -day life. And I've seen the, the massive change that it has in them, you know, physically. Um, people looking in would probably think, really? I mean, but when you're working that hard and you're grappling and, and, 
and it, and it takes your mind off to absolutely everything. I mean, it did for me, and, and I think, and you'll see people in a different light. I took, we took people that have been, you know, in a, in a down situation, and really, they're on a high, you know, like, and, and you know, they've all said the same thing to me, you know, this has changed my life, you know, you don't understand, and, and this is, this is not just like a one-off, this is like, this happens all the time. I like to think of it as a lens, like learning any sports or skills is a lens with which you then see the rest of your life. And jiu-jitsu, I mean, I've done almost every sport. I think the only sport I haven't done is like scuba diving, but the only thing that comes even similar is Olympic weightlifting, which is the same sort of physical and mental um, approaches to a skill but once you have that skill that lens it helps you understand the things you're looking at because you possess that skill and that power or you know like just empowerment in yourself because and it enhances your life because you're looking through a new new lens sure and I think the beautiful thing as well finally is that the You'll see all, when we've got a class here, you'll see all walks of life here. You know, there'll be a doctor here, there'll be, I don't know, a carpenter, there'll be, no matter what walk of life, we've pretty much, we've got pretty much everything covered here. And so, in certain circumstances, you'll see, I don't know, a young 17, 18 year old having a real uh, in depth conversation, like mid roll, uh, sorry, between rolls, uh, with the doctor. And probably no walk of life would he really like, they take the time out to, you know, engage, but with I think with jiu-jitsu and just with the club in itself, it just brings that uh, just brings that real good community feel. You know. Well, a big thank you to the guys at Horsham Mixed Martial Arts for speaking today with me so honestly. And if you are struggling with your mental well-being, then you can go on the council district website, and there are lots of links and resources there to help you. So please do go and check those out. Ah, oh, we're in the studio with Connie. Hello, Connie. Hello. <laughs> it's nice to have you in the actual studio. I know. It's nice life. to be back. It's quite exciting just to get out, isn't it? Put some interesting oh, clothes definitely. on and wear some makeup and make an effort. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you went to visit Sunny, I yeah, believe. Yeah, I did. How did that go? What was that? Like? Um, actually, it really surprised me almost. I, I didn't really go. I, I mean, I knew what I was going in for. Um, he, I thought I was just going to talk about. He put out a video uh, which was like learning different self-defense techniques, yeah. and he got quite a big response from it. Um, and had, I think, like 100 people wanted to join his class wow. after it. So, um, yeah, he really made an impression. But actually going in, it wasn't just him. It was also um, two of his uh, members, Amy and Mark. And um, they were just, honestly, it was really inspiring. They spoke oh. to me about why they took up martial arts. And um, they were talking about how it's not just a physical thing, it's a mental thing. And Mark even compared it to chess at one point and just like he was like there's a lot of strategy involved yeah. in it and I was just like I didn't really like think about it in that way no, no. but um yeah no it was really nice and they were talking about how it helps you like a lot of people go and they've been struggling Mark said that he didn't think he was on the right path and then he found um mixed martial arts yeah. and like it sort of set him straight and now he has something like he said he had a purpose and that's wow. like really nice yeah and then amy was opening up about um being diabetic and she was saying she didn't think she'd be able to do physical things like that yeah. and now she's found something she can do and yeah it's just really nice that's really nice it's a really nice uplifting story yeah isn't definitely it? i think one thing she touched on as well is that it's about um some for some people this is uh, really helpful for mental health as well now one of the things we want to make mm. it really clear is that sunny isn't a mental health professional no. he can do something that will help you with your mental health and managing issues however you do need to seek uh, professional guidance yeah. and with that we have uh, an interview with total therapy studios and uh, they'll tell you a little bit more Hello, I'm here with Sarah at Total Therapy Studios. Hello, Hello. nice to meet you. And you. Across our distance. Absolutely. <laughs> Very handily, she's managed to space us out completely two metres, which is lovely. Um, so the reason we're here today is to discuss what your services are that you offer. So first things first, where are you based? Uh, we're based in Den Parade in Horsham. Okay. Um, very close to the town centre and we've got another premises that isn't quite open yet in the centre of the Carfax. Wow, so you're very central, that's yes. good, lovely. Now, just as a slight overview, what do you offer? Um, primarily, we started as a clinical facility offering physiotherapy, sports therapy and movement classes. Okay. Um, but since we opened in 2012, 
we've expanded that into much more of the well-being category because I think we we found that that little bit was missing. I think people wanted a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, so since then, we now offer things like massage therapy, sports massage, oh, blimey, reflexology, um, hypnotherapy, counselling. We do a lot of uh, yoga therapy, relaxation, meditation. Wow. But still very much doing the clinical side of the business. So that's a lot of different types of things. Do you find then that people um, can benefit from uh, having one or like a mixture of different therapies? Is it quite a holistic approach when it comes to people? Yeah, I think my, my goal with Total Therapy Studios was always to bring everything under one roof. Um, when I first started, I tried to do it all myself, so I spent many years qualifying in different disciplines. Well, okay. But then I realised I couldn't do it all on my own. So I think Total Therapy was about us all working together, so rather than just one therapy trying to fix lots of different problems, I think everybody needs a little bit of everything. Sure. So we try to offer that service that says, okay, well actually, your pain might not be a physical kind of pain. It yeah. might be coming from a trauma, it might be coming from something that's a bit more psychological. Yeah. So we use our team to kind of go, actually it's not me you need to see, it might be somebody else. Oh, that's so it's in order to give people the right therapy at the right time. And it's been very individual as well, isn't very it? Much so. To the individual's case at each time. Yeah, definitely. That's really nice. And so when you're approaching, when people come in and they come and talk to you, do they just come in for a first consultation or do they come in with problems? It depends what people ring for. Okay. I think sometimes people will ring up and say, I've got a back problem. Yep. Some people will say, I don't know what I need. So in that situation, I will always offer a consultation to say, right, talk me through it. And then I'll probably, I'll signpost them then potentially to the yep. right therapy, the right class, the right se sessions of therapies, yep. the right mix of therapies. Um, so it's really individualized. So people kind of know that they're not going to waste money spending hundreds of pounds on a treatment that six months down the line hasn't worked sure. because actually it wasn't the right therapy for them in the first place and I think it is a bit of a minefield for people yeah I think I think this is the what we see quite a lot is that you know do I see a chiropractor do I see an osteopath do I see a physio there's CBT therapy there's counseling there's psychotherapy and I think it's so confusing for people that if you don't know what you need, and not every therapy is successful for every individual, sure. because everybody needs to be treated in accordance with who they respond to. So I think for us, it's about finding the right fit of the therapist and the therapy, rather than just kind of saying, this is what we offer, give it a go and six months time, 300 pounds later, no. it hasn't worked. Going forward, when we, when we do start to unpick lockdown a little bit and we start to come out be that from April 12th or whenever we're all allowed to start um, being out and about again do you think there's going to be certain things that are going to be coming up for people that's quite common do you think there's going to be issues that are going to be coming through that you're going to see quite a lot of definitely yeah. I think in the last certainly in the last six months and I think over the winter I think people's mental health has really suffered yeah and I think you know from a personal point of view I've put on a lot of weight since lockdown. My routine has completely changed. I had a very physical job. I'm stuck behind a laptop all day. I'm stuck with my husband at home every day, 24, yes. hours, a day, <laughs> 24 hours a day. You know, I'm not seeing friends and family. You don't yeah. have those things to look forward to. And I'm asthmatic as well. So yeah. I found that I've been quite anxious around coming back to work because it feels quite scary. Yeah. And I kind of think, you know, take that and escalate it for some people 10, 20 fold. So I think the anxiety around coming out of lockdown is, is going to be pretty high. Yeah. Um, and I think there's going to be a lot of people that might be struggling with drinking a little bit more. Yeah. They might have been experiencing symptoms of anxiety and depression, but don't even know that they're experiencing it. And I think it's really hard to know where to go in those situations and what help to get, because it's scary to admit that you're kind of not okay. And as you say, you're here for people when they start to come out of lockdown in a way to unpick it and to fix yourself back together again and really start to feel comfortable about being back out in the world. Um, and I can't wait to come back here and actually do a few yoga sessions, what have you. I'm, I'm eyeing up all of the different stuff, so I'm getting quite excited. Not the ball, though. I'm a little okay, bit scared of the balance ball. I think one of, one of the things that we are really looking forward to doing is the group sessions. Yeah. Yes. And we're looking to expand that into the, um, the mental health and the well-being, just for the pure reason that affordability is going to be a problem. So the group sessions actually give people a chance to do that at a price they can of afford. Course, yeah. Because you find with a lot of one-to-one -one therapy, you're talking 50, 60 to 100 pounds. And if you need to see someone once a week, 
I couldn't afford that right now. No. So I think it's trying, to, it's trying to create that affordability for people as well, to kind of say, look, if you can't afford that, come to a group, learn to breathe properly, learn some relaxation techniques, sure. learn some movement techniques, or get motivated in a group. And if you need you know, one-to-one -one therapy, then we're there for that as well. But the group will help as well, won't it? The social exactly. interaction will finally yeah. start seeing strangers and new people again. Hopefully. We... <laughs> How exciting. On that note, having met a stranger who I now very much like, this is lovely, very interesting. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. So I hope you've enjoyed the episode this week. Now, if there's anyone that you would like to see featured in this, or in fact, if it's yourself and your business, do let us know. We are aiming to focus on as many Horsham District businesses as possible. So let us know what you think about the programme and we will see you next week.